All right, SIG test six, graphing this line. I need to plug in values for x. Since I have to divide by three, I decided to just plug in numbers that were multiples of three. It makes it a lot easier for me. Plug in three. Three divided by three is one. Negative one plus two gives me one. Plug in six. Six times one divided by three. It's two. It's negative. Negative two. Plus two is zero. Negative three. Negative times negative, negative positive. Gives you one. Plus two. Three. Plot the points. Zero, two. Zero for the x. Up two. Up three. One. Six. Zero. Same thing for this guy. Y equals square plus 3 times the x minus 4. Uh, plug in 0 and 0. That's gone. Negative 4. So 0 and negative 4 dot. Plug in 1. 1 squared is 1. Plus 1 times 3 is 3 minus 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. So 1, 0. Plug in 2. gives me 4 plus 6 minus 4 gives me 6 over 2 up 6 got a dot I saw that it kept going up so I didn't even figure out 3 I went over here to negative 1 since it has that x squared I know there's gonna be a problem so I'm looking for it to go down and then back up this was just keeping going up so I moved over to negative 1 Negative one, negative one. It's one minus three minus four. So negative six. So I go over negative one, negative six dot. And I just kept doing that. I got another negative six. Then I knew my vertex was in between those guys, and everything is symmetrical on a parabola. And I drew my parabola. Open her. Y intercepts at zero three. Slope is always the number that's being multiplied to the x, so it's right there. So I went to 0, 3, put a dot, and I went down 2 over 5. Rise over the run, but it's a negative, so I went down 2 over 5, down 2 over 5. Or I could have went up 2, but then I had to go back 5. <coughs> Excuse me. 0, negative 2. That's my y-intercept, and there's my slope. So I went dot, and I went up 3 over 5 up 3 over 5 or I can go negative negative so down 3 back 5 first blocks was a little harder to see but basically y-intercept was at negative 1 so that's why that's negative 1 it went down 3 over 2 down 3 over 1, 2. Negative. This is a negative slope going downhill. 3 over 2. And then negative 4. 2, 3, 4 dot. And then it went up 3 over 2. Up 3 over 2. So it rose 3, ran over 2. And it started off at 0, negative 4. weird part is most people solve this correctly but then their point of intersection on these two lines didn't match up and you didn't freak out about that that's weird to me because remember when you're plugging them into each other you're finding the point of intersection so you substitute that in for the y and then you get this equation I just solve it I subtracted x from each side I subtracted 5 Divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4, negative divide by negative, positive 2. And then I plugged in my 2 into this equation. 2 minus 3 gives me negative 1. So that's the point where those two lines should intersect. So it should intersect right there at 2, negative 1. And my lines do. Because I started off at negative 3, and I went up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. 
started off at 5, and I went down 3 over 1, down 3 over 1, and they intersected right where they should have. Most people got this first one correct. Combine like terms, add 7 to both sides, divide, and there we go. And of course you check it by plugging in your answer in for the n, and then you solve. This one people had a little more trouble with it. Uh, most of it was just subtracting 21 from that guy. You got 3. Weird. Distribute. 24x minus 30 minus the x. Distribute. So that's 18x, 12, and 3. Combine like terms. Combine like terms. Some people added those together. They got 25 here. Another weird mistake. Number is 24x minus x. Subtract 21 from both sides and you get 2x. Add 30 to both sides, you get 42. Divide by 2 and you get 21.